welcome to all of you the main course is ice cream and the frozen dessert management process in the first part you learn the basic terms in ice cream its definitions specifications standards and different types what is mean by ice cream you can see ice cream that is the ice in which the milk containing water is converted into the ice along with the milk cream it is called as ice cream the food safety standards of india the definition of ice cream is that it is the product made from freezing of pasteurized and standardized milk and milk related ingredients along with addition of number of other ingredients you can see in which ice cream kulfi chocolate ice cream soft ice cream these are the real ice cream which is made from freezing of pasteurized premix there is a first required to prepare the premix and after that this premix is pasteurized and freeze it is called as ice cream in which number of other ingredients may be added as per our requirement the main categories including fruits and fruit related products eggs and egg related products coffee coca chocolates spices nuts etc these are the ingredients may be added along with the additives and may be added with the sweets cake cookies the basic Maybe. standards of the ice cream you can see in this table the parameter with respect to the types of the ice cream the ice creams are categorized into three groups first real ice cream second one is the medium fat ice cream and third one is the light or low fat content ice cream the main parameter that is the milk containing fat percentage which is used for the preparation of the ice cream the final ice cream containing fat percentage in which if the fat content more than 10% is called as a real ice cream then second one is the medium in which the fat content requirement is in between the 2.5 to 10% and the light ice cream containing fat content not more than 2.5% as per the standards in which the other parameters in which addition of the starch powder is allowed up to 5% of the total weight of the ingredient then addition of the stabilizing and emulsifying agent may be added with up to 5.5% of the total other ingredients on the weight basis uh, then addition of the milk fat only the milk source fat added not less than 10% in the real ice cream and then total solid content of the final product in the ice cream must equal to 36% and over what is the difference between the ice cream and the frozen dessert dear friends you can see in this photo this is the real ice cream and this is the frozen dessert after processing of the market you must require to know about it is a real ice cream or it is a frozen dessert in this label they are the declared as a ice cream or as a frozen dessert the ice cream which is most required to prepare from the main source of the fat that is the from the milk and in the frozen dessert the main source of the fat and oil that is the vegetable oil and fat is used the basic difference is only is that the source of the fat which is used in the real ice cream must required to prepare from the milk fat and the frozen dessert which is prepared from the vegetable oil and the fat remaining other ingredients managing process are the same examples of the different type of the ice cream and the frozen dessert and their properties you can see in this table the main types of the ice creams and their uh, basic properties parameters in which the types of the ice cream they are classified into number of groups on the basis of their addition of other ingredients if we added the and coca related products is called as a chocolate ice cream if we can added the flavoring substances not more than 5% of the total volume it is called as a plain ice cream if we added the fruit related pulp juice etc then it is called as a fruit ice cream if we added related to the nuts paste is called as nut ice cream then if we milk is added with the other ingredients and then frozen it is called as a milk ice then ices that is the frozen dessert in which the non dairy ingredient in which the fruit juice or maybe uh, sugar syrup is frozen then sherbets then novelties pudding powdered ice cream these are the different types in which the basic ingredients are changed then next one is the soft service ice cream in which the without hardening of the ice cream it is called as a soft service ice cream 
the number of machines are available in which uh, remixes are prepared by the powder and then we can directly prepare the, as a soft service ice cream then ultra high temperature treated mix that is the ice cream mix in a liquid form we can purchase from the market directly and prepare the ice cream then full fee in which the milk is concentrated from 2 as to 1 percent with the addition of the other ingredients and then freezing is carried out these are the basic main types of the ice cream and their parameters then what are the main ingredients which are the required for the ice cream manufacturing process you can see in this table the main ingredients are divided into two groups that the first dairy ingredient and second one is the non-dairy ingredients in dairy ingredients two main uh, ingredients that is the first one is the fat and second one is the solid not fat and in the non-dairy ingredient that is the sweetening agent that is the sugar then second additives in which the stabilizing and emulsifying agent and third one is the flavoring coloring or other ingredients the examples of for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation in the first lecture you learn the basic information regarding to the ice cream their ingredients types and the definition and the standards thank you very much